Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone over here with Chef Alison Davis at the Wild Time Kitchen. That's right. How are you, darling? I'm great. How are you? Good. Just what are we making? Just cutting up a little zucchini here. Um, I haven't well, had zucchini for a while. Yeah? yeah. Okay. I'm ready for a zucchini. hit of zucchini. <laughs> well, it's not really going to be the main portion of this dish, but um, we're going to incorporate it in. So we're talking fall and some of the fall vegetables that we're going to be seeing, you know, yeah. from the farm. And this is um, acorn squash. You said you'd never seen it before. I don't think I so have. So it's called acorn squash because it looks like, you know, a big giant acorn. Does it? Uh, but it tastes a lot like a squash, you I know. I don't think I've seen an acorn in real life either. Well, there you go. That's why you didn't recognize it. <laughs> so acorn squash, oh, gee, I was... typically cut straight down the center. You just apply a lot of pressure and just work your way straight through. And then you could just scoop out the center of yep. the seeds. Um, just kind of scoop that part out. And then I cook this off ahead of time to soften up. Like a spaghetti squash. Exactly, like a spaghetti squash. So I've gone ahead and cooked off one of the acorn squashes here. That's a big acorn. Where, yeah, well, it's not an acorn, it's a squash. A squash. Um, but I cook, <laughs> so I cook this off so that it's nice and soft. And we're actually going to do a stuffing. Um, I've got some ground In this. turkey. Yes, so I've mm. got some ground turkey. Oh, let me I'm going to turn this down. Hold on. A little bit of olive oil. That turns your heat down a little bit. Oh. I'll pop for a second. She always gives me the hot stuff. So I have some ground turkey that we're going to cut up, um, and we're just going to cook our ground turkey up. I'm adding in some onions, and then that's where the zucchini is going to go. So this is all going into a filling with our ground turkey. Okay, I know I asked this you once before. Why don't you brown your onions first? You can. I just am throwing it all in the mix. Oh. All right, so we've got our zucchini going in, and one of the things that's going to happen with our vegetables, like our zucchini, our mushrooms, is it's going to release a little bit of water. So oh. it's going to help for the turkey to not be so dry. Oh, this is turkey? Yeah, it's ground turkey. So it's going to help so the turkey's not so dry, because it's really easy that when you're cooking turkey, ground turkey just gets like dry and doesn't have a lot of flavor. So we're going to add a couple of things in. Of course, we're going to go with some salt and pepper, right? Yep. Into our mix. And then... I think you turned that off. Oh, no, it's not. It's on. It's on. Um, salt and pepper into our mix. Yep. And then we're going with Chinese five spice. Have you used this before? No. Um, <laughs> Chinese five spice. I have two spices in my cupboard. <laughs> Chinese five spice is a combination of anise, fennel, cinnamon, anise? cloves, anise, star oh, anise. Anise, oh, anise, anise, anise mm -hmm. star. So this is going to give it a ton of flavor, like spice and fall flavor. Let flavors, me have a smell of that. Because it has the clove and the fennel Oh, there, that's good. Right? And then we're going to add some ground sage in here as well. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, it goes perfect with the, with oh, the flavors. Oh, Lord. So it's perfect with the flavors of fall. That's ground sage. Got enough sage in there, don't? Yes. Can't have enough sage with turkey, right? It's like you know Thanksgiving what? in a little dish. For people, I have to say to you, I always go to the spice section and I just stare at it and think. There's a lot of spice. I don't spices. know what to buy. Yeah, so something like Chinese five spice is great to have in your pantry because it's already like a combination of and a few spices. But what spices. do you put it on? Anything. It's perfect with pork, and it's great with um, we, this dish I as bought well. that Trader Joe's chili and lime yeah. that I put on my chicken yeah. strips. Yeah. So sometimes you can find, I just recommend looking at the label, making sure that it's just a clean amount of spices. It doesn't have added preservatives or, <laughs> you, you know, know. You just read your label, and if it's just like a spice combination, it'll just have the spices listed, and that's right. it. So the final thing this with this... This is taking a minute. Yeah, so the final thing with this, once your vegetables sweat, I added a little bit of cornstarch, and that helps to, like, bring it together and just kind of tie it together. So I've got some here that's already Oh, finished. that's already done. Yeah. So then we just take this, and we just put this in, and then you can just heat it up, and you've got this nice, full... That's it? Yeah. Stuffed um, acorn squash, and that's like dinner in a bowl. Like, it's, it's dinner like ready to capsicum. go. It's like a capsicum. Oh, you call it Yeah, like a pepper. stuffed pepper. Yeah, so it's ready to go. So you pop it back in the oven whenever you want. You've got your squash, your meat ready to go. Oh. Yeah. Fancy that. It's delicious. For this recipe, you can go to Midday Kentucky, click on the recipes tab, forward slash recipes, right? WTVQ.com? Yeah, I'm a little bit, I don't know about this yet. Um, I'm going to be we'll, tasting we'll it. We'll see what he thinks. Back after this short <laughs> break, everyone. <laughs>